Hosea Williams waited for four hours while the jury deliberated. He knew they were considering several key bits of evidence. That no witnesses had actually seen him at the accident site, but three had been told he was there. That a wound on Williams' forehead could have been caused in the July 1980 collision, or, as Williams said, from running into a door. And that one defense witness had admitted to faking a piece of evidence. Yesterday, Williams told me he was innocent, but expected the worst. If I'm found guilty, what would that mean? It, it, it would mean that there is a, a very definite uh, decay in, in, in the judicial system. A very definite decay. The jury was excused just before noon today. Their verdict had been guilty on both counts. Prosecutor Robert Wilson was not surprised. I felt that after hearing all the evidence, that the jury either would be unable to reach a verdict or they would find him guilty. But I did not believe for a minute that they would find him not guilty. And I was convinced that their, their verdict is accurate. They called it as they saw it. They were good, fair, impartial jurors who just misinterpreted the evidence, an honest mistake of judgment. And that's what that we have appealed courts for. Before the sentencing, Judge Richard Bell said he did not want to be remembered as the judge who sent Hosea Williams to jail, but did want to be remembered as the one who gave out equal justice. He then sentenced Williams to five years in state prison, four of those on probation, and one year in the public works camp. He also ordered revocation of Williams' driver's license. Williams left the court quickly today. If his conviction stands, he also faces ouster from the state legislature. He is now free on $5,000 bond. Hank Phillippe, Action News.